How's it going everybody? Rusty here. Today we're going to do a full review of this guy. This is the Hornet watch. Picked this up as part of my Watch King subscription. Would have been September of 2018. So I've had it now for just going on two months. So I've had ample time to kind of wear this watch, get a little familiar with it. That way I can honestly review it the best I can, share with you guys my opinions of it um, and the ups and downs of, of owning the Hornet watch. So uh, a couple things uh, before we get into it, guys, just uh, and I enjoy bringing these videos to you, so please subscribe. If you're new, please subscribe. Let's uh, let's help the channel out. I'm trying to, to bring out new content as often as I can. Um, please put in the comments if there's any reviews, things like that, uh, or things that I'm missing, things that you'd like me to see from past videos that I've done. I can try to, to alter or bring new content out as far as, as what you guys are requesting, so let me know. Um, so we'll go ahead and dive in. Like I said, this is the Hornet Watch micro brand. Um, picked this up September 2018. So just get into some of the meat and potatoes real quick. So overall size, the uh, the case size is a 46 millimeter watch. So for those of you that have smaller wrists, this will sit pretty big. Um, I don't have that big a watch wrist, I guess, size. So for me, it does sit fairly large. 46 millimeters about max that I tend to go. Other than that, it just looks like I'm wearing a giant sundial. Um, the crystal size is 38.5, so at least you get a, a decent size of, as far as the face is concerned. It's a 22 millimeter bracelet. Uh, it does contain the 316L steel, which is your surgical grade steel. It's about standard on a lot of watches nowadays. Um, as far as the movement, it is a quartz movement. Um, according to the website, which is Motor Time, which is Motor hyphen time.com that's their their individual website i'll put some links for for them as well as uh an amazon link uh, i think that's advertised on there as well so you guys can can read all about this watch if you're interested um i believe there's five different colors of this watch i managed to get the white face one which i te technically liked a little bit more than some of the other ones but you'll notice there are a couple of different gold accents in there um there is a little bit of depth hopefully you guys can see that as far as the uh the dial is concerned, and it's what's referred to as the multi-level dial. You can kind of see this little X here where the chronograph sits. It does add a little bit of depth. I kind of like that. It does add a little more character as far as the, the watch is concerned. Uh, you can see the indices right there as far as the hours are concerned are applied, so it's nothing that's painted on. So I'm not really big into the gold, but I do like the fact that with the gold and the white and the stainless that this does work. Um, it's just enough for me not to to be disgusted by by gold because I'm just I'm not a big gold kind of guy um, but enough that uh, the accent does actually do some play and you'll see the little date window there if you can see that just cut in underneath try not to get either the glare or the shadows in for you so as far as water resistance on this guy it is only a 50 meter watch or 50 meter depth watch so nothing that you're going to want to you know, obviously take scuba diving but obviously washing your hands things of that nature um, should be just fine um, I'm still a little nervous or hesitant. It doesn't matter if it's a thousand meter. I tend not to take my watches in the pool, things like that. Just, I guess I'm just overly cautious with mine. Um, but it's there for those that do. So give you guys a quick tour. Like I said, here's the, the face of the watch. Give you guys uh, overall thickness there. Sorry, I wish I would have given you the, the, thickness, the thickness. I actually lost my caliber tool. So I'll show you guys the, the clasp here. So let's see, it's got a couple of scratches. I have worn this. Like I said, I want to give you the review. It's not something I just pulled out of the box. So it is a butterfly clasp. It's got the Hornet logo and the Hornet branding there stamped right on top. So give you guys a shot of the case back. Turn it the right way first. So hopefully you can see that with the, the shadowing. There's a model number. Model HT6670. Sorry, I should have mentioned that in the beginning. So, so overall, not bad. Um, you can see the band here, typical H style band. And it's uh, the pins here. It's not screws, anything like that as far as to, to remove links. So fairly easy to size. Um, I didn't have any problem sizing it, which is my little at-home kit. So... Give you guys a shot here. Fire up some of the chronograph movements. It's your standard chronograph setting. Your start, stop up here. And then your reset down here. Got your 24-hour function over here. And then your tenth of a second's going on. Or that's your minutes. 
So not bad. Um, it's your standard push pull crown. It's nothing, anything that's uh, screwed down, anything like that. So standard push pull. So as far as some of the things as I've worn it that I tend to, to not like, um, this butterfly clasp being probably the biggest. Um, while I do like the idea, the design, I, look, I think the, the bracelet works well with the watch. And this particular clasp, you see, does have a little bit of movement, things like that, which is, is probably about standard with a butterfly. But this particular one has come off my wrist twice since I've owned it just on its own. This, this particular clasp just does not like to stay shut. Um, and from what I understand, it's not just mine. Um, for those that are members of the watch gang, um, going onto the Facebook forums, you'll be able to see that other people have complained about it as well, that this watch, this, this particular clasp just spontaneously wants to come off. So not very good. Um, like I said, it's happened to me twice. Um, actually, the day that I was wearing this today, before I made this video, um, was out at a store and it almost fell off my wrist and it's uh not comforting not you know thinking you're out and about and your watch may come off so um for those that want that bit of security might be something you want to throw on a NATO or a leather strap like that for me personally I am going to take this off I am looking for ideas either a leather or a NATO so if you guys do have any ideas any advice what you think would pair well with this color combinations please put them in the comments I, I do read those. I try to respond when I can, um, and I will take them into consideration as far as, as what I can do. So retail price on this watch is $285 as far as their website. Um, I believe it might be the same price as, as Amazon. Um, do I think it's too, worth $285? The answer is no. Um, for me personally, I do not. I would not pay $285 off the shelf for this. So I'm glad my watch game subscription paid for that. Uh, reason being just, it, it's basically your standard chronograph 316. It is a quartz watch. So there really is nothing that's, that's over the top jumping out, you know, Hey, I'm special, you know, kind of thing. Um, with the fact that the clasp is the way it is, um, falling off, um, on multiple occasions, um, that's a big negative. I mean, a lot of the positives that, that can be pro the price, um, the fact that, you know, 46 millimeters is, is pretty decent size watch. It is a sapphire crystal, if I did not mention. Um, so you do are, you are getting a sapphire, sapphire crystal glass there. So you're getting a little bit of toughness. So in the event it does fall off, hopefully it'll be protected. But, um, the fact that it, it even runs that, that possibility is not something that I'm, I'm interested. I mean, the, the case, the, the band, everything is stainless steel, uh, as far as the bracelet is, sorry, not the band, um, so you do have a lot, a lot of positives as far as that is is concerned. But like I said, um, for me, a lot of the negatives as, as far as what I've dealt with personally kind of outweigh the pros. And that's that's probably why I wouldn't pay $285 for it. But for those that uh, want to pick one up, I mean, to each their own kind of thing. Like I said, don't, don't take my opinion as gospel. That that's That's according to me. Other people may have different luck. I might just be one of the unfortunate few that that particular clasp doesn't function. I mean, these are probably mass produced by who knows how many. So not every single one is bound to be perfect. So if it's something you're interested in, then you want to go for it, go for it. Um, Perks of watch collecting is, is we kind of take some of these advices and tips and just real world practicality from those that have, have lived it into our own and apply it there. And we buy what we buy, you know, so i um, not trying to deter anybody, nor am I trying to sell. This is more just information-based for you guys so you can understand what this watch is. Um, if it's something you're looking to add to your collection. So um, give you guys just a couple more things on the watch real quick here. And, and we'll wrap it up. Sorry, guys. I wish I had my caliber tool. Um, so like I said, this is the, the name brand is Hornet. The model number is HT6670, and the color is called Vivid White. Um, I said I believe there is about five colors, maybe six, but I'm pretty sure it's five um, as far as the colors to choose from. Um, and I believe it was a gray face, a blue face, a green face, the, and the black face, and then, of course, the white. So um, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything else. So... Um, like I said, guys, this is the, the Hornet watch. 
it is uh it is a decent watch i'm not i'm not taking that away from it it is a decent watch i do enjoy wearing it um personally for me i think i'll enjoy it a little bit more on a different band just i want that piece of security knowing it's not going to fall off and fall and then it's damaged and i don't have a watch so but overall you know if it's something for me from the watch game subscription um, for those that are familiar with the, the watch game, the black subscription cost me $100 for this watch. So is it worth the $100? The answer would be yes. Is it worth the $285 to buy retail? No. But then again, uh, I'm kind of a believer that hardly any of the watches out there are worth paying retail for. Um, there's always some discounts available, some way buying things on a used market. Um, unless you want to buy retail, then then go for it. You know, if you've got the money to do that, I'm not saying it's not. Um, just me, um, since I can't necessarily afford the higher end pieces, um, I'd have to buy them off the used market. So there's no way I could pay full retail. So one reason why, especially with things like this, um, buying retail as far as a watch game program, that's good. Um, uh, buying off the shelf just straight out might be a little difficult just because it is a micro band. It's something that nobody's really heard of. So you are kind of taking a gamble, a risk as far as that is concerned. So, um, Anyway, guys, like I said, please uh, subscribe. Please comment, like this video if it's uh, something you found useful. I will try to, to get some more reviews out. Just give you guys a quick wrist shot. You guys can see there I am wearing the Jerome Lamar. I put it on the brown leather strap that it came with. And this is the November subscription. I just recently got it within a couple of days. I'm making this video here for November. So let me see if I can... Give you guys a better shot here. So I'll try to, to get a review out on that one when I can. Um, like I said, it'll probably be about a month or so. I'd want to wear it for a little bit. That way I can give you guys the same honest opinion that I do on these ones. Um, I do have another watch um, that I'll get the video out for you pretty quick. Another review, and that's going to be on the Nautis. It's one I got uh, for October. So we'll get that one to you guys. But like I said, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know. Um, if there's anything I missed, anything you guys would be interested in knowing more about, I can put in the comments as far as this watch is concerned. Some things you'd like me to cover on future reviews. And we will go from there, guys. But I appreciate you sticking with me. Like I said, we'll uh, see you guys in the next one. I appreciate y'all. Thanks. Bye-bye.